Good afternoon everybody, it's late summer, it's cool outside, it's a good time to grill. We'll do some maple glazed grilled chicken, let the grill do all the work. Where It's going to tenderize the chicken and get a, a great little uh, crusting of the maple on top. And we'll do some herbed long grain brown rice and it's really delicious, really easy. It's going to go over here on the fire for a few minutes until it boils rapidly and we're going to shut the heat and let the herbs do its work. And let's get going. Okay. I just rinsed off the long grain brown rice. You never know if there's going to be any dirt in it or uh, any kind of impurities you want to wash out. So it's a cup. We'll put that in the pan. And then we'll use about a cup and a half of liquids. And sometimes uh, it can end up being two cups, so you do have to check it for doneness. And we're going to add some chicken stock now. Okay, time to flavor it. I like chicken stock, so I'm going to use about a teaspoon or so. And I'm not going to add any salt because this is salty enough. And what I'm also going to add is the herb. Now, on top of that, what we will do is we're going to add our spices. Uh, this is rosemary, and I'm going to leave it loose like this. I'm also going to put the thyme in. And we've got a lot of thyme now, huh? <laughs> and here's lemon balm and some marjoram over here, all from the garden. So instead of putting it, uh, tying it in a bundle uh, like a bouquet garni, we're going to leave it as is, and whatever falls into the rice gets to stay. Okay, we're gonna put that on the fire over here. And there we go, nice high fire. I want it to boil. I am going to cover it. Once it starts to boil, we're going to take it off the fire. Okay, uh, what you wanna do before you do anything else is take care of the grate which you're going to cook and so you want to put some oil on it that way the chicken won't stick need a little bit more I'll put it right over the chicken yeah. it'll prevent the chicken from sticking and then we'll place the chicken on top and we'll season it too with simple Salt, sea salt, and pepper. And I'm also, also going to grill a few vegetables over here. This is a, a hot pepper, poblano pepper, and I've got some string beans which I'm going to put on, and they will be uh, just to adorn the dish. They're not going to, uh, they're going to be decorative more than anything else. Okay, I have turned them over uh, so that they could uh, cook on both sides and they're nicely charbroiled. The next step is just to apply the uh, maple syrup on each one and just let that glaze for a while. I'm going to reapply this actually a couple of times so it can get a nice thick crust of this maple syrup. And I'm only going to do the top part. You can do the bottom part too. A little more labor intensive and sometimes it sticks to the grill if you do that so that's why you probably only want to stick to doing the top part all right, i'm going to close the grill and let that warm up okay, it's all together we have our maple glazed grilled chicken and it's amazing you've got to try it and as far as the rice it has cooked perfectly it absorbed all the liquid i had to add more liquid mm. Wait to try this too, the herbs are amazing. I had to add more liquid to it. Once again, rice can be very funny. Sometimes you have to add more liquid. Usually it's not less liquid. I started out with a cup and a half. I ended up putting two more cups in it. You have to check it for doneness, but I'll put the recipe on, you'll see. Uh, that's what makes a good cook, adjusting each time you do a different recipe. Because the rice might be a little drier, it's a different batch, depends on the humidity level. So enjoy everybody. This is another great uh, late summer meal and you're really going to enjoy this. Please try it. It's so easy. It's amazing. All right, take care.